Good morning, all of you. I completed the third element of highway cross section that is Cambo in the last session. Now I am proceeding with the numericals on Cambo today. Numericals on Cambo. So the first problem it is the bituminous road has 3.8 meter wide carriageway. Calculate the height of the crown above the edges. Calculate the height of the crown above the edges. See you. Here the given data is the width of the carriageway that is 3.8 meter. And the type of road surface also given it is bituminous road. And the thing is that there are two types of bituminous road as per IRC recommended. Well, it's for the camber. One, it is high bituminous road surface and another is a thin bituminous road surface. They are not mentioning anything about the high bituminous road surface or thin bituminous road surface. But the thing is that they have given the width of carriageway, it's about 3.8 meter. No, usually for the single lane road, they are going to provide the thin bituminous surface only. Okay. So, width of carriage weight is 3.8 meter, they have mentioned bituminous road surface, let's assume it is a thin bituminous road surface because of it is single lane road, okay. Then they are not mentioning anything about the whether the rainfall light or heavy, okay. If that is the case, we have to took the average of heavy to light, average of heavy to light and they are not mentioning anything about the types of camber, whether it is a straight camber or parabolic camber. So, in that is the case, we have to take the straight camber, you have to take the straight camber, okay. To solve the problems on camber, you must know the IRC recommended values of camber, you must know the IRC recommended values of camber, see you, IRC recommended values of Kembo. Okay, these things they may not given in your exam, you must know these recommended values. First one it is type of road surface. It is range of Kembo. Range of Kembo from heavy to light. For cement, concrete and high bituminous surface, high bituminous surface. This is first one. Second one it is thin bituminous surface. Thin bituminous surface. Okay. For heavy to light for the first one it is 1 in 50 to 1 in 60. Means for cement concrete for high bituminous surface, if the rainfall is heavy in the respective locality, you have to take 1 in 50. If the rainfall is light, you have to take 1 in 60. And for thin bituminous surface, it is 1 in 40 to 1 in 50. 1 in 50. And remaining two other roads are water bound macadam and gravel roads. And fourth one it is the earthen roads. Okay, for solving the problems on Cambo, we need these two only. Okay, one is the cement concrete and the high bituminous surface and is the thin bituminous surface. See you, in this problem for 3.8 meter wide, we are going to provide the thin bituminous surface. Thin bituminous surface. And for the thin bituminous surface, okay, we have a range of Cambo 1 in 40 to 1 in 50. If the rainfall is heavy, you have to take 1 in 40. If the rainfall is light, we have to take 1 in 50. But here they are not mentioning anything about the rainfall. Okay, then you have to take the average of that 1 in 40 to 1 in 50. We get about 1 in 45. Okay, we we'll go for this solution. Okay, 
solution for the respective problem here adopt k member of 1 in 45 1 in 45 this is expressed in terms of 1 in n then n value becomes 45 1 in n for n meter of horizontal distance 1 meter vertical that is the k member expression 1 in n where n value is the 45 now then we have we have height of crone above the edges height of the crone above the edges is equal to w by 2n w by 2n where w is the width of carriage weight is 3.8 meter therefore that is equal to 3.8 divided by 2 into n is 45 no 1 in n it is 45 ok this becomes 0 0.0 422 meter 0 0.0422 meter or this is 4.22 centimeter always express the camber in terms of centimeter okay you should keep the unit of camber in terms of centimeter okay this is regarding the answer for the first problem okay height of the crone above the head just for the straight camber it is w by 2n so okay w is 3.8 meter and n value is 45 now so 3.8 divided by 2 into 45 we get about 0 0.042 to meter okay in terms of centimeter it is becomes 4.22 centimeter is it clear next i'll move on to the second problem is camber boards are to be prepared for the following conditions give dimensional sketches the first one it is cement concrete road 7 meter wide in area having heavy rain straight sloping camber is to be provided second one it is bituminous road 7 meter wide in area of heavy rain parabolic camber is to be provided it's very simple you should first find out the height of the crown and give with the help of dimensional sketches that is with the help of figure is it clear ok we will take the first case solution case number 1 so here we may see cement concrete road the type of road surface they have given it is cement concrete road type of road surface it is cement concrete road and width of carriage way they have given is about 7 meter and they also mentioned that it is heavy rain in that area it is heavy rain and see you for cement concrete road surface okay if the rainfall is heavy then the amount of camber it is 1 in 50 1 in 50 so adopt camber of 1 in 50 since the area having heavy rain area having heavy rain ok then width of carriage way they only given width of carriage way is equal to 7 meter ok therefore we have we have height of the crown height of the crown above the edges above the edges that is w by 2n because in the first case they have mentioned it is a straight sloping camber for straight camber it is w by 2n ok then w is 7 meter 2 n value that is 1 in 50 then n value becomes 50 2 into 50 ok you may get about 0 0.07 meter that becomes 7 centimeter 
0 0.07 meter that becomes 7 centimeter okay so in the problem they have also mentioned that give dimensional sketches give dimensional sketches is very simple for straight sloping cable this is 1 in 50 and this is the height of the crown this is the height of the crown it is 7 centimeter and this is the width of carriage way it is 7 meter width of carriage way it is 7 meter okay this is the dimensional sketch for straight sloping camber okay the width of carriage is of 7 meter and the height of the cone is 7 centimeter the amount of camber it is 1 in 50 all the details you have to include in your sketch that is a dimensional sketch for straight sloping camber okay now i move on to the second case that is bituminous road 7 meter wide in area of heavy rain parabolic camber is to be provided if you move on that and see you for that second case also it is a bituminous road 7 meter wide now okay usually for 7 meter wide it is a two lane road for two lane road they are not provide the thin bituminous road surface they are going to provide the high bituminous road surface okay then you have decided the surface of the road it is high bituminous surface then they have mentioned in the area they having the heavy rain so for high bituminous surface for the heavy rain the amount of camber is 1 in 50 the amount of camber is 1 in 50 okay and this table the IRC recommended values of camber they may not given in your exam okay you should know that you should know the values of IRC recommended values of camber is it clear okay for second case also the amount of camber it is 1 in 50 Case number 2, adopt camber of 1 in 50, 1 in 50 since the area having heavy rain and here also the width of carriage where they have given, width of carriage way the given is about 7 meter that in terms of centimeter it becomes 700 centimeter 7 meter it becomes 700 centimeter ok we have we have for parabolic Camber for parabolic camber height of the crown height of the crown is equal to height of the crown y is equal to y is equal to 2x square divided by nw 2x square divided by nw where x is the ordinate at which the y is measured where x is the ordinate at which the y is measured okay the ordinates the ordinates x to be taken are to be taken are okay usually the y is measured at a distance of half of the pavement width then 3 by 4th of half of the payment width and 1 by 2 of half of the payment width and 1 by 4 of half of the payment width means the payment width is about 700 centimeter then half of the payment width means it is 350 centimeter okay at 350 centimeter they are going to measure the y value then at 3 by 4th of 350 at 3 by 4th of 350 centimeter they are going to measure the 
y distance that is uh, height of the crown they are going to measure it at 3 by 4th of 350 3 by 4th of 350 it becomes 262.5 centimeter then 1 by 2 of 350 1 by 2 of 350 it becomes 175 centimeter at last it is 1 by 4 of 350 1 by 4 of 350 it becomes that is 350 by 4 it becomes 87.5 centimeter 87.5 centimeter okay they are going to measure the height of the crow at the 4 intervals it is at the 350 centimeter means half of the pavement width then so it is 3 by 4th of 350 1 by 2 of 350 1 by 4 of 350 okay at these four intervals they are going to measure the height of the crown is it clear I'll take up one by one the first one it is height of the crown height of the crown at 350 centimeter at 350 cm that is y 350 y 350 is equal to only thing is that in the x value you should change the x values as 350 for the next it is 260.5 and for the next it is 175 then it is 87.5 and w weight is width of carriage you have to mention in terms of centimeter that is 700 centimeter okay y is equal to 2x square by n w you know we know that n is 1 in 50 means the n value becomes 50 the amount of camber is 1 in 50 means the n value becomes 50 therefore 2x square by n w then 2 into x value is 350 350 square n is 50 and w is 700 w is 700 okay and it is you may get about 7 centimeter okay height of the crown at 350 centimeter it is 7 centimeter next height of the crown height of the crown at 262.5 centimeter that is y 262.5 is equal to 2 into 262.5 square divided by 50 into 700 50 into 700 is it clear okay here you get about 3.94 centimeter 3.94 centimeter okay a 260.5 centimeter is it clear okay next height of the crown height of the crown at 175 centimeter height of the crown at 175 centimeter that is y 175 is equal to y 175 is equal to 2 into 175 square divided by 50 into 700 50 into 700 you may get about 1.75 centimeter you may get about 1.75 centimeter is it clear okay and the next it is okay height of the crown at 87.5 centimeter that is y 87.5 is equal to 2 into 87.5 divided by 50 into 700 you may get about 0.44 centimeter you may get about 0.44 centimeter
height of the crone at 350 it is 7 cm height of the crone at 262.5 cm it is 3.95 cm height of the crone at 175 cm it is 1.75 cm then height of the crone at 87.5 it is 0.44 cm and don't forget to give the dimensional sketch see here this is the parabolic shape this is the parabolic shape of cambo okay and this is the center okay from the center this is 350 centimeter at 350 centimeter and at 262.5 centimeter then at about 175 centimeter at about 175 centimeter and at about 87.5 centimeter 87.5 centimeter is it clear the height of the crown means measured from the top see here this is okay at 350 centimeter means from the center it is 350 now this is height of the crown here it is 7 centimeter height of the crown at 350 centimeter it is 7 centimeter that can be shown here itself here from the height it's about 7 7 centimeter height of the crown then at 262.5 centimeter it is 3.94 centimeter this is at 262.5 at this distance okay this height is how much 3.94 centimeter if this height is 3.94 centimeter what about this what about this this is 7 minus 3.94 no 7 minus 3.94 we get about 3.06 centimeter we get about 3.06 centimeter is it clear and at 175 centimeter it is 1.75 centimeter this is the distance okay at here at this distance it is 1.75 centimeter if this is 1.75 centimeter then what about this it is 7 minus 1.75 no? because the total rate is about 7 centimeter this becomes this becomes 5.25 centimeter this becomes 5.25 centimeter okay next <coughs> at 87.5 centimeter it is about 0.44 centimeter here this distance this distance from the top it is 0.44 centimeter then the remaining distance it is about 6.56 6.56 centimeter 6.56 centimeter okay this is regarding the dimensional sketches okay okay basically hall of understood how you get these values no okay at about 350 centimeter 7 centimeter 7 minus 7 then we get 0 here from this to the curved portion then at 262.5 it is about 3.94 then 7 minus 3.94 we get 3.06 centimeter from the width of the pavement to the curved portion then at 175 centimeter it is 1.75 centimeter 7 minus 1.75 we get about 5.25 centimeter at 175 distance then at about 
what is it 87.5 centimeter it is 0.44 centimeter 7 minus 0.44 we get about 6.56 centimeter this is the dimensional sketch for the parabolic chamber okay